This is the women's 400 meters well record that Marita Koch of East Germany set in 1985. This is one of the most talked world records in the last few weeks, with Sydney McLaughlin's arrival to the Open 400m event this year. On the 6th of October 1985, at the year's World Cup meet, Koch established this long-standing world record in Canberra, Australia. She set this world record running in lane 2 and her split times through the race were amazing. Her hand time splits were 11.3 seconds for 100m, 22.4 seconds for 200 and 34.1 seconds for 300 meters. Koch finished with a world record time of 47.60 seconds, breaking then world record of 47.99 seconds, which belonged to Jermila Kratapilova. No female athlete has ever crossed that 48 second barrier to date, let alone go near the world record. Koch's achievements, along with the performances of many other East German athletes, have long been under suspicion that they were achieved with the aid of performance of enhancing drugs. However, Koch never failed a drugs test and has always maintained she did nothing wrong. Her 400m world record is very official as any other track and field record and for 38 years, the record is still untouchable. We witnessed number of world-class 400m athletes in the past decades, but no one was able to come anywhere close to this world record. The closest someone has come to this long-standing world record is Bahrain's Salva Itnasa who produced a 48.14 seconds performance at the 2019 World Track and Field Championships final. Now we are talking about this difficult world record these days after Sydney McLaughlin Levroni of United States shifted to the flat 400 meters from a pet event 400 meters hurdles. Coach's 47.60 seconds became Sydney McLaughlin's obvious next target after she lowered the 400m hurdles world record for the fourth time in 14 months last summer at the World Track and Field Championships in Eugene. The American ran 50.68 seconds to win the event at the World Championships and then came back two days later with a 47.91 seconds split on Team USA's victorious 4x400m relay. She switched to the Open 400m event this year and we saw her making a season's debut in the event at the Paris Diamond League where she finished second in a personal best of 49.71 seconds. She then improved a personal best to 49.51 seconds at the New York City Grand Prix before going into the US Championships. At the US Championships, she completely obliterated a PR to win the national title, breaking the magical 49-second barrier altogether. McLaughlin dropped an amazing time of 48.74 seconds for the one-lap event, almost breaking the US 400-meter record of 49.70 seconds, which belongs to Sonia Richards Ross. She also became only the 13th woman in history to break the 49-second barrier. Sydney's run of 48.74 seconds is now the 10th fastest 400-meter time in history. With a humongous world leading time, Sydney McLaughlin made a statement at the US Championships that she is ready to take the world in the flat 400 meters. McLaughlin will be running the flat 400 meters at the World Championships in Budapest next month and will be looking forward to improve her time. She is more than a second behind the world record at the moment, but she is well capable of making surprises and shocking spectators. Women's 400m event this year is unbelievably competitive, with 11 women breaking the 50-second barrier already this year. Sydney will have plenty of competition in Budapest, which will surely push her to run a fast time. World record or no world record, I am super excited to see what Sydney can do in the Open 400m event next month in Budapest.